<laughs> oh yes, you are back in the place. Yes, you are back in Des Ossinger with Chris on that Friday feeling. Yes, it's a glorious day today. Yes, I should be out flying, but then again, no one answered the Tarzan call. Can I fly with somebody? But that's okay. There's plenty of going on in the hangar, and we've got weeks and weeks yet of summer, hopefully flying weather. So what we're going to do today, we are going to be playing with carbon. Yes, carbon rod, which is now my pointy stick or my slappy stick. So sort it out. Listen, sit back, relax. Doesn't matter what you're going to be doing for the next 20, 30 minutes. Just forget the world. Because you're in the dad's house, you hang on that Friday feeling. Oh yeah. Welcome to the overhead cam. Yes, we are back to the overhead cam. Now, what are you saying? You've got a wet tissue, Chris. What's going on? Yes, well, we've not only got that. But we've got like a nice face mask. I'm sure everyone's kind of knows what these are these days. Um, and we've got a hoover. Now, why have you got all that, Chris? Because we will need to start rubbing down and cutting carbon rod. Now, carbon, is the dust from carbon is terrible stuff. You do not want to be breathing in. It is not good for the old lungs. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to be using a rotary tool. Um, high speed to cut and obviously when you're using that you use your hoover this is a hoover a little diddy hoover of mine um, to suck in the dust as you're cutting it the wet hanky what now this is just tissue like you would find in the in your kitchen hopefully um, or some other kind of wet cloth but it's got to be a throwaway cloth the reason is that is that when you even when you're rubbing down um, your the dust is falling on the wet and it's not going to just kind of like float about everywhere then obviously just fold out very carefully and throw it away the dust is bad. I cannot emphasize enough. The duff is the dust. The duff? The <laughs> duff? What's going on? The dust is bad. Yes, it is. Right, so what we're going to do, we are going to basically, first of all, do one end. Now, I need four rods. So I've got the uh, front wheel, I've got the throttle, and I've got the um, elevator and rudder. So they all new. they all need changing. This is the, obviously the one that we had before in here. So we've got to cut these to length. As I say, that's not coming off. It's on the live show, and I told you this just does not want to move. I had I had crimps here, and a crimp. Oh, don't, don't. And then obviously there's a bit of dowel in the back, which we'll be getting on later on. Um, yeah. So I think what we can do is just uh, go through one. These are the parts anyway. So these are the parts that actually stick on, stick on the rod. And um, if you can just about see that, and they've got a, like a small gap in the middle, and then they've got uh, a screw in each, which basically. Um, it tightens it like a uh, like a, a normal clevis, and then you've got the actual clevis itself. So if you wanted that long there, then you can just tighten that against the clevis, and the clevis won't move, which is great stuff. So we'll be doing all that, but uh, yeah. So let's uh, let's glue these on. Let's put these at a safe place. He says, "I've run out of me magnol trees. I need more magnol trees." Uh, I'm going to try and do this in shot, so everyone can see what I'm doing, which is great. So if I just put this in the middle, then everyone can see what it is. So first of all, this only goes, doesn't go in a lot. It doesn't go in a lot. I mean, if I push that there, you're looking at about, I don't know. Let's have a look, shall we? What is it? Let's not guesstimate. So we're looking at about nine mil. And that would be, that would be, that would be, he says, that would be about six eighths, something like that. So that's all it goes in. It doesn't go a lot, but we do use epoxy. Now, first things first, we use the wetness. Um, shall we do the size first or shall I just rough the edge up? Let's do what we do first. Let's get that out of the way. We'll just get a bit of tape. This is uh, um, just sort of the average, uh, sort of, what is it, frog tape. So, and what I want to do is straighten the frog tape up. <laughs> it always helps. And then I'm just going to go below the line, and I'll show you up close in a minute. So we'll wrap that round, like so, and then we'll just have, just push that over, because it doesn't, you know, gives us something to undo it again. Otherwise you're sitting there picking, because we will unwrap it when it's geared up. So if I can get that in shot, I don't know if I can do two hands here. Oh, hey, there we go. There you go. So just a gap there, because we do want it to ooze out, and then we'll rip this off and let them dry. So um, let's um, let's let's do that. Um, get them all on there. So um, that's one, two, three, four. Alrighty, that's all four done. Um, now there is also, if you're cutting as well, um, which we'll do later on. Because we're just going to do one end now. I'm using thirty minutes epoxy, uh, basically because thirty minute epoxy is stronger at adhering than five minute epoxy. 
it lets it soak in. Not that it's, it's quite hard to soak in to carbon rod, but we'll, we're going to rub this down to give it a surface to grip to. Because last things we want to do is uh, pulling our going to pull up on your elevator in the air and it comes off. Not good at all. So use 30 minute epoxy. If I had an hour epoxy, if there's ever such thing, I'd probably use that and just let it, uh, let, it, uh, let it adhere as much as possible. Because it's not a lot, as you can see. It's not a lot at all that goes on there, as I say. So now let's get these done. So let's mix up, mix up some uh, epoxy. Oh, it needs some epoxy done. Now, if you, if, I'm sure everyone knows how to mix up epoxy, but you, basically this is, I've used this one, which is a Zebrox Zap. Zebroxy. Yeah, I like that. Um, you just need the same amount of gum and uh, yeah, mix it together thoroughly. So that's that done, so let's put that to the side. Now we're gonna be using, I think this is just 150, yeah, 150 grit, um, just on each one. Um, remembering, obviously do it slowly, don't go mad. Um, if you don't need to wear, well, you can wear a mask, as safety's up to you. Uh, wear a mask, have the hoover going, but for this one, we just, it's, it's just, make sure you do it over the, the wet stuff. Because all that dust that's dropping down now, and it might, you say, oh, that's not a lot, Chris, it is. So you see it down on there? Um, it's not good. So we're going to do four of these, giving it a thorough adhering on there. So that's one, two, three, and four. Right, so now we've, we've done all that. Um, we just give this a quick, each of them a quick wipe. With uh, As you can see, look, you can see the dust. You see the black on there. That is dust from the uh, carbon rod. And you need to get rid of that dust, which it is. Otherwise, it's going to not adhere. To the, the dust will stick to the glue and not the rod. Um, yeah, so obviously you don't want to be taking deep breaths when you're doing all this. I can't emphasize how much. I'm going to keep saying it. Bad for you. Bad, bad, bad. All right, now we got safely got rid of the uh, the gumph. Now, not, do not doing this before or having done this before, um, you know, I think it's just the experiment of what you want to do. So I'm going to try and just gloop some inside, just so it covers the cap, and then just rub this around it. Don't worry about how much you're getting on it. It's all going to come off in the end, and any overruns we can, when it's dry, we can just chip off. But we want to make sure that that is got lots of stuff. And then all we're going to do is just push it in nicely. I say it's gooking out everywhere, and I really don't mind that. I really don't. And then what we want to do is try and just get rid of that. And then we can just wipe it on the back side of that. So there you go. It's all gunked up. Don't worry about the bits and pieces around it. I, I really don't. Um, we're going to... Just rub them off or something. I don't know. There's probably a better way of doing this. <laughs> if so, then please let me know. But we're going to do four of those. Two. That'd be three. And that'd be four. Yeah, okay, so there they are. They're all on and they're all gooing out, which is good because they've got little holes on the side. So when it goos out the holes, it kind of gives it like a leader, like a tea bar. A tea bar. So I'm going to leave those for 30 minutes. Um... We're going to sit here looking at a blank surface for 30 minutes. Hmm. No, we're not. We're going to carry on with doing stuff. And back in the room. Yes. Right, so here we got, it's kind of, it comes out of the actual fuselage, fuselage, um, with your throttle rudder elevator um, and your on and off switch. We're not going to be using the on and off switch. Um, I'll just give you a bit of close up extreme. There you go. So that comes with it and it kind of fits in under the belly, which is kind of cool. So we need our servos. We could have probably gone a bit smaller with the throttle, but uh, hey. Now in the pack of stuff, you get a little bag of parts, which you cannot really see, but I can see, so as long as I can see, we're good. Um, and these are, because I was wondering about this, I was thinking, oh, this is a bit weird. But I'll show you in a minute what it is. Right, so what I was still, when I looked at it earlier on, well, not earlier on today, but earlier on when I first got the model, I thought, well, that, well that's a bit weird because, like, you know, how, how can that screw into thin air? So, first of all, I thought there was magical screws, 
and then I realise that there is a which way it would go around I don't know I think it uh, nipples down maybe misses <laughs> very matron um, yeah it's a little brace 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 across there um, and then you would screws into either side oops sorry let's show you I'm not really showing you a close up am I Are you naughty boy right so obviously as I said the nipples down very matron um, and then you've got like a screw where's my pointy stick <gasps> Is she? Yes, the purple screwdriver. Purple. Yes, the purple screwdriver. Once again, making an appearance. So we got a screw here, and a screw here, and a screw here, and then obviously it was screw onto into there. Oh god, I've changed again. <laughs> uh, and then obviously this, the same happens here. You got a little one here, and nipples down again. And it's kind of, I think it's nipples down. I would have thought so. I don't know why it would be up because we've got some stuff, some metal stuff that go into here, whatever they're called. And then it sits here. So we're going to get this, um, get this done. Now, oh, these are a little, well, they're fine. They're little screws. But um, I, I like to use my screws um, with the hex heads. Let me go and grab them a second. Yes, is RTL fasteners. As I say, this is not sponsored, but we're definitely using <laughs> RTL fasteners. So what we got in here, we got some, they are 5 sixteenths, two, two by the 5 sixteenths, which, um, if I get them in focus, there you go. Nice little hex head versus those. It's about the same. I mean, I've got nothing about Phillips heads, you know, Mr. Phillips, well done. But I do like to, the ability with a hex because it's just easier it doesn't roll off um you know it just you know it's great and i think these are 1.5 no i'm lying to you stop that chris this must be two mil there two mil heads there you go and we'll also swap out the uh the the same with the servos so there's the servo which is kind of cool they've got some lots of cool stuff here that come with the servos, these uh, Saxo servos. You've even got where you can put a put a, put a little screw in. I mean, it's got a hex nut on there, and I like that. And then you've got some sort of bolt somewhere, I presume. There you go, little bolts there. Nuts. Which is kind of cool, don't you think? It's all about cup of tea. Yeah. Right, so let's stick these bad boys in. Oh yeah. So hopefully these are gonna go in ever so nicely. Very pretty. Look at that jewelry on there. <laughs> and there you go. There is our little servo pack that was ready to go um, inside the fuselage. Um, what I need to, what I'm sort of need to look at is this. Obviously, would be for the throttle. Is what side my engine is going to be. So this might have to be swapped around. Um, but it's basically the um, rudd and elevator. Um, and obviously, this is going to be doubled up with the. Um, with the front wheel which is also you know I might have to swap things about so and without building the aeroplane I'm being a bit premature really of, of, of doing it but it's something I needed to do because I needed to get the um, uh, the rods done alrighty back in the room yes yeah, so there you go I taped these up I've marked them up or oh, and that's just uh, come off so I need to put a bit more tape on there <laughs> let's just do that now show you. so it's best to um, take both sides because it can split um, you know, it's really, really strong, but it's also not in some, in some, uh, we'd like to call it some instances. That's the word I'm looking for. So I've got my wet, uh, cloth, uh, which is my kitchen, kitchen roll. If you had that in, they're all over the world. Uh, now I'm using a high speed, uh, cutting tool. Now remember this goes clockwise. I think it does anyway, clockwise. Yes, clockwise which is that way around, so it's going to be kicking out dust that way. Now I know I'm going into, uh, you know, being really 
sort of be careful because it is it's horrible horrible stuff so i've got my sort of my little hoover thing going on here um so that will suck up all the nasties hopefully and don't forget we're going to put our mask on something's not quite right yes well kind of not like that but we'll put our mask on nevertheless so let's uh let's get this done And there you go. So we can take our tape off over here. Um, once again, what we'll do, we'll get the sandpaper. Where did I put the sandpaper? Just, uh, just to get the, the bits and pieces off. This is the uh, the smaller ones, which I'm not going to need. Or I'll need another day with another model or another something. That might actually be long enough, these actually, thinking about it, um, for the uh, nose wheel. I have got small ones, but that I reckon, that reckon could, or be chopsticks maybe, chopsticks, yeah, anyone, anyone for trying these? No? Okay. So we'll keep them to the one side. Um, and then this one here, to, as you can see all the bits and bits, well you can just about see anyway. So I'm just going to do that edge. And then we'll, uh, I'll do that now actually. Just rough that edge off. It doesn't matter if it, you know, it goes over what we're going to put it in, as long as it's roughed out. And then, you know, I'm just going to wipe that off, which I didn't do with them small ones, did I? Let's get back. Safety first, always. Always safety first, and that means even in the hangar. Because you start breathing this in, yeah, I mean, it'll probably take a long while to... to uh, to get into your lungs maybe i don't know but you don't want to stand that chance do you this is lovely this is exactly what we need so these are they're dry they're solid so there you go i should get them in focus for you or try to go there you go all glued you see what i mean about the little holes that the the glue comes through to add like as an extra pull on the side so they will be ready to put the clevises on which we can do now let's clean this wet towel so yeah remember to keep it wet because when you keep it wet it holds it all in there so um, and then you can wipe it down anyway <laughs> I'd make someone a lovely wife so um, right oh I shouldn't say that should you no that's a bit chauvinistic I do a lot of the cleaning and I'm the man so there you go so it goes put that little uh, stop nut I would like to call it I'll just go right to the end of that and then our clevis on top of that we will cut some heat shrink to put around it because you know it's highly unlikely that the clevis will I do like these kind of, kind of clevises if you get up because they are they, I call them pop clevis so snap so they do and then they snap in when you push them in there so they are quite tight but then we still put a bit of um, heat shrink over it to so you know just in case but look at that that's lovely and yes we have run out of time in Dad's Aussie Hangar for this wonderful Friday yes so there you go carbon rods great things but have to be safety and don't breathe the dust in because it's really not good so i'm going to continue doing bits and pieces off video because we did say that this is kind of like this is what i've done rather than this is what we're doing and um, because it would take too long and i do need to get this ready but hey you can continue your weekend and that friday feeding through that weekend by flying sailing or driving your rc fun because this is a fantastic hobby you know it is otherwise you wouldn't be doing it because it makes you feel so good i hope you've had a bit of goodness this friday feeling with dad's rc hanger and if you do please press that subscribe if you haven't and the like button and the bell if you want to be notified every time i do something i don't know why you would but there you know you might want to but listen get out there and fly and have some fun get out and drive and have some fun and do some sailing and have some fun but if you do be safe keep safe but most of all, get that fun and get that Friday feeling. Thanks for popping by. Hope you feel good this weekend. Ta-da now. Bye-bye.